Hello, Daisy. Can you say hi today? <laughs> I guess Daisy's shy this morning. She doesn't want to be in camera. Hey, good Saturday afternoon, everybody. This is Organic Dairyman and welcome to my channel today. Um, how is everybody? Um, yes, it's another day. Um, I'm just coming a little bit, coming to you a little bit later here again. Um, I don't know, we didn't get any more um, stuff seated here this morning. It just, it just didn't work out and it's just too windy. Um, it's just, uh, Cloud up. It's supposed to rain here. I don't know what time it's going to start raining, but um, it's probably going to start raining here sometime this afternoon. I don't even know what time it is. It's like, oh. yeah, about 20 after 1 right now. So um, it's just too windy to, to go out and see anything. But uh, we still got to get those hoses in, down into those cups. I'll, I'll show you here after a while. So we got to get those. Well, I guess I showed you yesterday's video what we're gonna do, but yeah, we gotta get, cut them off so we're too long. We gotta get them all down in there just so they're ready to go. But it's just too windy, otherwise the wind is gonna blow the grass seed out of the cups on there. Maybe we'll have to show you guys so you understand a little bit better when I go back out there with the drill. But um, I just started some of the feeding here. I just gotta finish. I already got some stuff weighed out. I just gotta finish up a few more things here to weigh out, and we'll be done with that. And I'm not for sure if I'm going to grind a batch of feed for the calves, but they were kind of almost out of feed for that, so I might do that instead if I have time here today. But it just ain't going to work to seed that grass in the pasture today because it's just it's too windy. Um, it'll just blow right out of the, the seed cups and stuff when it comes down. The wind will come right up there and whoosh, blow it out. You won't gain anything, so... And the wind just came up you know, so fast today. Um, I wish I would have done it last night, but I was just so tired. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, and things got a little bit later last night too because um, I was hoping to get to bed a little sooner last night, but then we had a cow. We were just about done milking and then a cow calf, so we had to wait for the cow to lick the calf off. Then we get the cow in and milk the, ca milk the cow, feed the calf the colostrum, and then, you know, give the cow a regular treatment of stuff, some calcium in the shoulder, and then give her her pills, and stuff like that. So, ended up taking up an extra whole hour, or roughly an hour of extra time last night. But he did get started with chores a little sooner last night. I thought, oh, we'll get to bed sooner, but it didn't happen. But yeah, so anyways, that's kind of the scoop what's going on here today. Um, so, um, we'll get those hoses cut off. I'm trying to get that at least done, and then maybe I'm going to grind the batch feed for the calves here. I'll see. But uh, the clouds keep moving in. I know I checked the weather earlier. There's some rain on the west west of the interstate, which isn't too far from here. So the rain is coming. Well, guys. We're just moving a feed bunk out of here. We got to get this feed bunk fixed. The end is broke out right there. So, that's what we're doing right now. Um, just got to get this job done so that it is done with. We need, we need that feed bunk right here. So, whoops. Don't want to hit the post. There we go. So Yep, we just gotta get this done. It's on the the list of things to get done around here. Well, I just got done putting the haylage on the feed wagon here. Took a little bit longer than I wanted to because, and yeah, I know, it's not going to look pretty. But yes, this is what's left of this 
third cutting bag from last year and yes I know it's it's messy it's ugly <laughs> it does not look good um, yeah just a and the back end of this bag just ended up turning out to be a pile of crap I mean yeah there's some good stuff in here but maybe I could scoop up in a little bucket I don't know but I ended up having to dump a bunch over there in that manure pile and uh, yeah well what happened why did all this get moldy well when we chopped it last year it was really dry when we put it in here it got really really dry so it uh, it didn't ferment properly got moldy I don't know it probably didn't help either there's a cable I think I don't know I can't see it in here I know there was like a little bit of the cable had rubbed just a tiny little hole in there but that could have had some of it to do with it too but it is dry I mean, there is some good stuff, but then you got mold mixed in between. And maybe a guy gets a little bit out of here if I pick at it. But there's mold there. And, uh, there's some maybe good stuff back here. I could pick at it a little bit, but um, it just did not turn out very good. It's just, uh, it's just not worth it sometimes to try to put up put it in a bag when it's too dry it just it's not the right moisture it just like I say it just doesn't ferment properly and it turns to mold yes we do use inoculant when we um we do it we, we put inoculant in with it and um it was just too dry it was too dry and uh sometimes that's one reason why I'd like to switch to silage bales <laughs> it be so much faster put up do that do this yeah, and the thing of it is, this is the last of the good quality hay that we have. We're supposed to be getting another, we're supposed to be getting another truckload of hay. It was supposed to come actually last week, or this week actually. It was supposed to come on Monday, this week, it's today is Saturday. But uh, they couldn't come with it because um, the flatbed that they were supposed to bring it on was too high. They couldn't get two, two layers high. They couldn't, they were they're round bales and they couldn't stack two layers high because they couldn't fit under the overpasses on the interstate. So whatever reason, somebody somewhere got their wires crossed or you know, something and the, the trucker misunderstood or he'd never hauled hay before and he didn't realize that. But somewhere, somebody made a mistake and so the hay never got here this week. So I don't know what we're going to do here. I could maybe, like I say, if I pick through it, I could get something maybe for tomorrow, but um, I don't know what we're going to do. If we're just gonna, we might just have to grind some lower quality hay to do that to the cows to get by until they get that truckload here. Hopefully next week here they get it here. But <sighs> just sometimes getting trucks lined up this year, I don't know why, but it has been a real pill to try to get, to try to have truckers haul anything this year. I just it's been a bad year. So we'll see. Anyways, I gotta get back here to the feeding. And then I gotta head off to church here this evening. That's what my goal is to head off to church. And um, I don't know by then. I think it's gonna be raining out. It's uh, I feel some sprinkling a little bit. Looks like there's some rain over there. So um, yeah. So, there's that. Bunch of crap. <laughs> Okay, everybody, um, I'm all done here for the day. Um, yes, we got all the cows milked and everything, so we're done. The day is over, and I apologize. I didn't get any, um, I didn't show you anything on the drill. We didn't get the hoses cut off the drill and get those things put in there, and I didn't grind any feed for the, for the calves. Um, it just didn't work out to get it done this evening. And so I think... Um, I'm just going to run this video into the next day here tomorrow. So I apologize. So I didn't get that. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. And uh, I'm going to go get some shut eye. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's another day. Um, how is everybody today? Um, I'm just out getting the cows in here this morning. And uh, giving 
188 here. A little head scratching. They're doing a little head scratching on her. She just woke up. Then she 188. We just got out of bed. Yep. Like I say, it's another day. Oh, it's another day. Another dollar. Yep. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it's kind of cloudy out today. And and the pastures are uh, greening up. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So today we're going to. I don't know if we're still going to try to seed grass in the pasture out here. Um, we might. I think we're going to try to do that yet. We're going to try. And then uh, I got to grind a batch of feed for the calves. And I gotta try to pick through what's left in an egg bag so we can get some haylage for the cows. So that way tomorrow we might just take and borrow a trailer from somebody and go down and get a, like a gooseneck trailer worth of hay at that guy's place. He's not, he's about an hour and a half drive from here so we might just go and get some hay because we need hay. So I don't know, we're, we're debating that yet. But anyways, um, I don't want to talk too long here but we gotta get the cows in the barn and get them milked and get on with other things throughout the day and uh yeah i know this too is people are wondering what these things are here these are some old heads for a john deere 55 combine here we need to get rid of those take those to the junkyard they're no good to us except for that one has got a wobble box in there we might take that off but we need to get rid of those get some money for those things the combines that that used to go on or the combines that we had are gone so they won't do us any good <laughs> but anyways if anybody's wondering what those things are there so anyways i gotta go get these cows in and get the moo juice flowing here this morning so uh i'll get back with you later on here guys well um what am i doing now um i'm just out here and the cows milk cows uh watering fountain or watering trough whatever you want to call it um this thing here has been you could just see the level of the water there it just keeps running over and this thing is full like this all the time and of course the cows stick their noses in there and they push water out and it gets all sloppy around here and not supposed to be doing this and uh probably my guess what's happening is that little rubber i don't know maybe this float has slipped a little bit and we have such a very rusty hard water and, uh, yeah i don't know it might just need a float adjust. sometimes this float down in here just has a tendency to uh to slip a little bit but you could just see how much rust gets on that thing sometimes what will happen is in here right where my finger is here and there's a there's a rubber stopper in there sometimes rust will build up behind that or the rubber or stopper will get will wore out from stopping the water so much and it'll just keep dripping dripping and dripping but uh yep that's kind of what i got to do here so i'm just gonna quick i'm gonna Get that float adjust and hopefully stop this lower the level of the water in here so that way the cows don't keep slopping water wasting it because if you waste water that means the well pump has to run more that takes more electricity and that costs money so that's what i'm going to do is get this float adjusted and hopefully hopefully it stops oh i almost forgot to mention happy mother's day to all the mothers out there <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of, well, I was remembering today was Mother's Day, but I almost forgot. But anyways, yep, happy Mother's Day to ever, to all the moms out there. Sylvester, how are you doing? Hey, oh, looks like Sylvester wants another tractor ride, don't you?
Okay, I just got done a little while ago loading up the feeder wagon with the haylage and obviously as you remember from yesterday, part of the video yesterday, I had there's some moldy haylage in the bag and I took some of that moldy haylage and I dumped it in the manure spreader here. So I'm just going to quick uh, take this out to the field and uh, spread it, get rid of it. It's going to be fertilizer. <laughs> Out under anyway. Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. I think you know there might be enough yet for tomorrow, but we're trying to get see if we get that that other hay that we're supposed to get from this other organic farmer. Uh, he's like I say, he's down by uh, Madison, Minnesota, so uh, if we could just get that hay up here, it really would help. But anyways, I'm gonna get this spread, then I'm gonna finish loading the feeder wagon. And then I'm going to grind a batch of feet for calves. Uh, we need to grind hay for cows, but I'm trying to get a hold of them. Uh, both my, two of my first cousins, they, they both own hay grinders. And I'm trying to get a hold of them, and I can't get a hold of either one of them. So my husband can use the hay grinder. So I'm just kind of waiting to hear back from them. So we just need some brown hay for the young stock for tomorrow, Monday. Anyways, I better get this spread and get back again. Okay, I'm out here in the machine shed and um, I am going to take the DG210 over to my cousin's place and get the hay grinder. Yes, he did. He called me back and so said we could use it. So, um, so anyways, um, I am going to head over there and uh, get the uh, get the tub grinder, so that way we can. Uh, oh, now somebody's calling me here, but. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do is head over there a little bit and get the tub grinder. Okay, <laughs> you can see my brother, he's out there uh, seeding the grass and the alfalfa into the cow paddock and uh, yeah, actually I just got back a little while ago um, with the tub grinder and um, and uh, yeah, so actually um, I think I'm going to grind that batch feed first but before I do that I just got to grab a, a quick bite to eat here then I'm gonna grind the feed for the calves first and then if there's time yet we'll grind hay for the, for the young stock or for the, the young calves and stuff like that so so anyways I better go grab a bite to eat quick and then I I better um, I better uh, get that feed ground for the calves so
we've done grinding feed for the calves. It's got to grind a little hay here. I don't know, I might just grind a couple bales here and uh, finish up the rest tomorrow. Let's see here. What I have for the time, but I run out of time. I'm just for sure going to grind two. And, uh, we'll see what happens. See what I get the time here. nice and I think it's finally going to warm up. The way the weather forecast is looking, it's supposed to get up. I don't know, there's one day this week it's supposed to get up to 80, 81 I think. So that's going to be nice. That's going to hopefully it dries out all the water. Get in the field. Hopefully this week we can get some oats and alfalfa seeded down. No, I mean, no, obviously no inner seating, just doing that. Anyways, uh, I better get the going here. Gotta get the net wrapped off this bale here. And then uh, fire up the tractor and tub grinder. And, uh, oh, oh, wait. There we go. Got the bale and it's a butt in there. That just didn't quite fly it. Anyway. I'm going to do here, get the net wrap off and uh, start grinding. Well, Sylvester, what are you doing in here? I think you like, you're like a tractor cat. Look over here, Sylvester. Scoot over. Okay, Sylvester. Okay, all done grinding hay for the calves and hopefully tomorrow we can get some of that other hay hopefully it comes tomorrow or if we go down and either they're going to bring a truckload or we're going to have to go down and get some so we'll see what happens here tomorrow with that hay. I don't know I just hope they can bring it up in a semi trailer but we'll see what happens but uh, at least uh, we got the hay gone for the calves. We got some feed ground for the calves and uh, for the young stock, so we're good to go for that. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, Monday, and uh, but the rest of the week sound like the weather's going to be pretty good. So um, yeah. So anyway, I got to go milk some cows, and uh, we'll see see how the rest of the rest of the week goes. So. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed your weekend, and <coughs> you had a good Mom's Day, or good Mother's Day with your mom, and, um, yep, so, anyways, I gotta go milk some cows, so, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe for more, check me out on Instagram and Twitter, at Organic Damon, and thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoy the video, please, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, well, I guess I said that earlier, but, but, just reminding you again, <laughs> And thank you to everybody that has taken the time to hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, 
yep i think that's everything and um oh yeah don't forget to check out all my other videos please share this video with a friend or family member and um that's it that's all i've got for today for these two days two day videos so anyways take care and i'll catch you later